I think suffering exists in every single person in, on the planet. There's no person who doesn't suffer. Suffering is part of being a human. Mm. Even people, I mean, I live in LA, like the richest people in the world aren't happy. Why aren't people happy? People with so much, people who drive Lamborghinis and have reached the top of the, the social pyramid. And, and you know, I think that suffering is, uh, is a product of not understanding what your priorities are as a human being. Mm. And if you don't, if you're not in touch with who you are, you're not comfortable in your skin, you're going to suffer. Yeah, you're forgetting about the world you live in, like sitting on a bus and not wanting to interact with people around you. You know, we, we move around cities and, and we put our head down because saying hello to the person on the street across from us is like a dangerous act. Like, it's like, what the fuck are you? Why are you talking to me? Like, I don't know, I'm a person. Like, we both live in this city and on this planet. Maybe we should talk to each other and acknowledge each other. I mean, it, it's tough in even beginning to converse about nonviolence, um, primarily because what we see in our students and what we see in our community um, are, are just products of a very violent history of America, um, a very violent um, government, a very violent ruling class. Um, I was once told one of the greatest forms of violence is a child going to school for 12 years and only receiving six years worth of education. Um, and so we, we also have a very abstract notion of violence and that even if it's physical, um, it's coming from a very, you know, this very, very abstract form of violence that, that starts from the top and kind of trickles down. I start to think, okay, I have mine. <laughs> Don't bother. Again, it's like I don't want to lose mine, and so, so I think that what you know, it's like like this beautiful space we're sitting in here. Sometimes people don't don't really want other people in here, but if more people would come in here, it actually would create a more balanced place. But but if I say this is beautiful, I want to protect it. I don't want anybody else in here. Um, that's what, that seems to be what promotes it. Um, this is a very nice neighborhood. We don't want other people coming into this neighborhood. You see that in San Francisco? I see that in San Francisco. Of course I see that in San Francisco. We really want to help the people over there, but we want them to stay over there. We, you know, they, I don't want them in my neighborhood because they don't know how to behave. I think. Uh, Ruby D, a uh, famous actress, she has got rewarded for it's all the stuff she was doing, she did a lot of uh, work in the women's liberation movement, and um, they were asking her, like, what pushed you to do all of this work? And she said, I, I never really saw it as work as much as I was taught that that's what it means to be human, is to make people's lives better. Um, and that really hit me, because I think we get uh, rewarded for, you know, that's such great work that you do. And oh my gosh, how do you find the time to do that? As opposed to, she said, it's just what it means to be human. And if you're not doing that on a daily basis, if you're not challenging people to be better, if you're not um, pushing people towards healing and life, then you're not living. Um, and I think if that message was normalized, I think we'd be a lot better.